Buenos dias, amis. I'm doing something a little wild today. Um, I'm cutting my hair super short and I'm doing it by myself because nobody wants to help me. No, uh, realistically, the reason I'm cutting it myself was because the hair girl that I go to, she is literally booked out for the foreseeable future. Like, she does not have an opening. I don't know when she does put her openings up, but like normally she'll be booked out for like a month, a month and a half in advance. Okay, so then I was like, let me see other girls that are at her salon and they're all booked out for like at least two weeks. And then I was like, okay, let me look around for some salons in my area and see if I can go somewhere else. And then that was just giving me so much anxiety going to a new person and having to start a new relationship with a new hairdresser and having to put so much trust and faith that they can do it. I was just like, you know what? If I fuck up my hair, I fuck it up myself and there's no one to blame. And at least I didn't have to go through that awkward, like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. That like awkward interaction of me having to pretend that I love it, even though I actually, I absolutely hate it. And walk out of there trying to hold back my tears you know <laughs> let's go wash our hair and then come back okay my hair is washed we're gonna brush it out and get started it's now or never baby it's 11 11 aligned but i'm gonna start off longer than i need to obviously because i can always cut more but i cannot take off more. I mean, I can't put more back on. So we're probably gonna start here because that is nowhere near where we want to be. Oh my god. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Long hair. I didn't even think that through whatsoever. I, I'm well aware that's why I can't pull it to the front and then cut because that happens. You get like a little tail. And we don't want a tail. I'm just trying to get majority of the length off right now. I don't even know, that's probably not symmetrical whatsoever, but... Goodbye, hair. <laughs> I just, I just did it. I was like, let's just fucking do it. <laughs> Guys, I'm like... Did I really just fucking do that? But at the same time, I'm like absolutely loving it. I haven't had my hair this short in so long. Like, honestly, I think since junior year of high school. But I absolutely love it. Okay. So now this is where things get a little more serious. So to get chin length bob, we'd have to cut to about here. That's why I'm like... I feel like I'm gonna have to shave my neck hair. <laughs> Very likely I will. Okay. Probably not gonna talk because I wanna focus, so I'm gonna create a guide for the length that I want on each side. Guys, I did it. I had to go to sit down over there because that's where I have another mirror where I could look at and then I realized my room has horrible lighting so then I went to the bathroom to try and finish it out. So we're looking like I know it's not straight and I'm definitely gonna have to shave my neck hair but I'm gonna go ask my sisters just to make sure it's not like super crazy crooked you know. I took down the second layer of hair and that just looks so funny. I cannot. Okay. So again, we're just gonna go section by section. My sister told me it didn't look crazy crooked, so I think we're in the clear right now. Just very difficult. This look feels so weird. <laughs> like. She's gone. I feel like I'll probably just cut majority length here, then go to the bathroom and do adjustments there, and basically be going back and forth. Okay. I feel like when you 
you're doing one side that's easy but then when you start doing the other side it's like holy shit now i got to make this somewhat even this is where we're at for the next layer sorry my sister has her tv playing on like fucking blast but i'm gonna have my other sisters check it and then we shall keep going I went ahead and evened it out for me because there's like a little tiny bit of unevenness. Next layer, we're like halfway through the head, which is kind of crazy. It's like the scary stuff because you really got to pay attention to the sides. You know? You know? I feel like it would have been smarter to have the trash can underneath me. Too late now. I feel like this is going way better than I anticipated. Don't look at this side, this side's not ready yet. But I feel like this is going so much better than I expected. Obviously it's not perfect, but I love it more than I even thought I would. It does take having a lot of patience. TBH. This side is still a little bit longer than this one. And like being able to like adjust your eyes to be like oh no that's longer this part is hilarious look at that <laughs> i left my mirror over there damn it oh my gosh we are so close to the finish line <laughs> like a part of me is in awe that i did it but another part of me is like hell yeah like if i hadn't done this if i hadn't just gone for it i know i was not gonna go for it you know that made no sense but at the same time so much sense <laughs> like if i didn't do it now i feel like it, i would have just talked myself out of it but ever and ever now i'm kind of like feeling little hairs the final cut <laughs> oh that feels great i probably shouldn't do that because i still gotta freaking finish and I might just go get some hair dye and fucking dye this shit dark okay I'm gonna blow dry it and straighten it so then we can go over it again I don't know what to do with the bangs this makes me feel very Velma <laughs> as I finished blow drying my hair to, so I could run a straightener through it look at it <laughs> I absolutely love it I truthfully feel like this is one of the best decisions I've made thus far. I just can't wait for my bangs to grow out because that's the part that's like not giving me the full effect that I desire, but everything else I'm like absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. There's so much hair in my robe and in my bra. Can't wait for these little guys to just not be little anymore. But it's okay, I'm gonna get ready and then we'll do the final review with like makeup outfit, you know, the whole thing. I'm Eve. I absolutely love it. This is the shortest I've had my hair in a really long time. I think I just want my bangs to grow out. That's the one thing that I'm like iffy about. But it's okay because I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like a part of me still like I really did it. You know where you have that like phantom hair experience where you kind of just expect your hair to keep going and then it doesn't and you're like oh yeah because i absolutely just chopped it all off i really did that <laughs> so yeah i might actually be dyeing my hair brown again tomorrow i don't know another impulse i'm having we'll see how that goes so i don't know if i stop the video if i decide to dye it brown i'll keep recording and i'll show you guys okay guys so i did end up dyeing my hair dark sorry about the absolute trash lighting right now but this was the only time I really got around to filming this. I do think I'm going to go black though just because there's still kind of some red in here that I don't love. 
I feel like the red was nice and I liked it for the time being but I just don't know why I continue to insist on dyeing my hair full colors when I am not good with upkeep for hair dye situations like I feel like haircuts I love getting haircuts now <laughs> but hair color I just am not good with the maintenance of it whatsoever and I just feel like my skin tone didn't pop as much as I would love it to so the color was fun I enjoyed it while I had it but I don't think I'll be revisiting a red moment anytime soon so that's why I'm fully ready to commit to the black and then just allowing my natural hair color to grow out because I'm I feel like I'm going to keep the short hair for a while, so I'll just keep cutting off the black hair dye. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace and blessings, and I'll see you guys in the next one.